Observing the world at the nanometer scale has always been a challenge. The fine structures of cells, viruses, proteins, and other nanoparticles have long been elusive. And yet today, we can observe them at the atomic scale thanks to a cryogenic electron microscopy. Its developers, Jacques Dubochet, Joachim Frank, and Richard Henderson, received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2017. Let's go back in time to see how they did it. In the early 20th century, scientists observed tiny objects using electron microscopy. Instead of using a beam of light, they found a way to use a beam of electrons. The problem is that electrons can damage the sample that is being studied, and this is for two major reasons. On one hand, the electrons transfer so much energy onto the sample that they destroy part of their structure. It's as if you were trying to observe something by striking it repeatedly. The second reason is that the sample has to be placed in a vacuum, so with no oxygen or humidity. And that's no good for living tissues or other materials that contain water. In the end, the sample is so damaged that it has completely lost its original form. And yet that's exactly what the scientists wanted to see in the first place. So chemists, biologists, physicists, and computer scientists worked together to perfect the technique. After several years of research, they found a way to protect the sample from the extreme conditions. Their solution? Cryogenics. By placing the sample in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius, the water it contains changes into something similar to glass, vitrified water. In this special state, the sample deteriorates much slower. The scientists then focused on improving the resolution of electron microscopes. They managed to obtain sharp images at the atomic scale. But that's not all. Thanks to more and more powerful computers, the researchers developed software that managed to create, from two-dimensional images, the structure of the samples in three dimensions. Thanks to these findings, scientists now have a powerful tool to study biological molecules and nano-objects. They can now optimize new materials and have recently revealed the detailed structure of the Zika virus, paving the way for a solution against this global epidemic. That's what we call, quite literally, a pretty cool technique.